The scientific method is a way, a method, of being able to develop an understanding of the world that's based on evidence. First you start with a problem or a question that you want to know more about. Let's say you hear that global warming is likely to increase soil temperatures. So you might ask yourself, will this increase or decrease plant growth if all other things remain the same? So you do some reading, ask people about it, and look around in the world, but realise you're not happy with the answers you've found. You think to yourself, wait a sec, I'm not prepared to make a decision on this. I don't have enough evidence. But you do know enough to speculate about what's probably happening. So you make a hypothesis. A hypothesis is simply an educated guess about what's likely to happen. It's a prediction about what you think will occur. An hypothesis usually contains the words if and then. For example, if soil temperatures rise, then plant growth will increase. The next step in the scientific method is to find a way to test your hypothesis to see whether it's supported or not. This is called an experiment. In an experiment, you change one thing that you think is important. You measure something that you want to know about and you try to keep everything else the same. The independent variable is the thing that you change. It is the thing that you think is causing something. The dependent variable is the thing you're measuring. It is the thing you really want to know about. Control variables are everything else that could affect the experiment. You want to try to keep them the same so they don't change anything. For our hypothesis, if soil temperatures rise, then plant growth will increase. The independent variable is soil temperature. We'll change that. The dependent variable is plant growth in millimetres. We'll measure that one. And control variables are things like water, sunlight, the type of soil. We'll try to keep them the same so they don't have any effect. The next thing we'll do is create a method or procedure and we'll write this down in enough detail that other people can do it exactly the same way if they wanted to. It's also a good idea to plan to repeat your experiment. So it's unlikely that the things that you find have happened by chance. This is called doing multiple trials. Now comes the fun part. Do your experiment. Make sure to follow your method really carefully though. The last bit was fun. This bit I think is exciting. This is where you analyse your results to see whether your hypothesis has been supported or not. This is where you're looking for a difference. Did those plants that are in the warmer soils grow more? If they did, the hypothesis was supported. You'll want to tell the world about your findings. You might write it down. You might talk to an audience about it. Maybe you'll make a video. It's important to keep in mind all the way through the experiment that if your hypothesis is not supported, you haven't failed. The world still knows more than before you started your experiment. The scientific method really isn't that complicated. All you need to do is start with a question that you want answered. Observe things in the world that already tell you about that. Create a hypothesis that you think is correct. Then conduct an experiment to test it. Analyse your results and then report your findings to the world. Now get out there and use the scientific method to help us understand this world.